Hey everybody, Coach Steve here, SoCalRunning.com, MarathonTraining.tv, and SoulRunners.net. Today I want to talk about establishing baselines. Baselines on some basic health numbers, and baseline on some of your race numbers, and even if you're a first timer, you can still go out and set these baselines as far as running a 5K or a 10K. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the doctor and I want you to get just the basic tests. Make sure it's okay that you're healthy to run, number one. Number two, get your blood pressure checked check your cholesterol, get a whole blood panel and just see where you are. Okay, that's the first thing. Then, the next thing is you can do kind of some fancy tests and we're going to do a really cool fancy test today and it's actually going to be a body fat analysis and we're going to meet a specialist on this. And then also you could go get like either a VO2 max test or a blood lactate test in order to really find out your heart rate zones and where you can train the most effectively to burn fat. The last thing you could do is you can go out and plan a 5K, 10K, or half marathon into your schedule so you really know where you're starting from and did you improve during your training program. Let's go take the test. So here I am with Sarah Lynn. Sarah Lynn, you're going to be doing this body fat analysis test on me. Tell me a little bit about uh, the test today. Well, the InBody 230 is used at Duke, Cornell, and Stanford in research. It's also used at USC. It's going to give you an accurate look at your body fat percentage and also how much muscle mass is in each leg and arm and core. And what's really cool, Steve, is they're going to give you a BMR, which is how many calories you burn at rest. And that will help you build how many calories you need to consume in your training regimen. Perfect. We all need to know how many calories we consume. Let's do the test. Yes, we do. Yay! We're going to have your come to Jesus moment here. I'm going to enter some information about you. Okay, Steve, so you're going to stand really still and this is going to hurt. <laughs> I was worried about that. All right, hold your arms out to the side. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay. And here I we want go. you to grimace. Here we go. This test only takes 90 seconds. Ah! Uh. <laughs> This is kind of cool. Yeah, feel the pain. So it's eight electrodes that are going through your body right now. How does it measure my core? What it does, it sends eight electrodes. Think about them having a conversation in your center. So it breaks your body into eight cylinders. And because of that, we can get uh, what we call segmental analysis, which is how much muscle is in the arm, leg, and trunk. Awesome. So I'm off the machine now, and the machine prints out this super cool report. Let's just go over the, some of the numbers here, Sarah Lynn. All right. Well, if you look at the top, Steve, your body is comprised of water, dry lean mass, which is bone and fiber, and fat mass. That's all you are. So your total lean mass is 145.1 pounds. Uh -huh. If you look down here, this is a range of percentage according to the American College of Sports Medicine. Your weight's within the range of normal, but holy shnikes, look at your skeletal muscle mass. You're almost off the charts of normal. Those are those running legs. And here's your body fat mass, giving you a body fat percentage of 13.5%. And that includes what's intramuscular or fat inside the muscle fiber. If you look down here, this cool little guy shows you how much muscle is in each arm, how much muscle is in each leg, and how much muscle in the trunk. That includes dry lean mass, so that includes your bone. And then over here, this is your BMR. This is a function of how much muscle is in your body. This is how many calories you burn at rest for your muscles just to be muscles. So that's a great number to use in your training program. And people want to know why I can eat as much as I want because I have a really high BMR, basal metabolic rate. So it's 1792. So just laying in bed, I can eat almost 2,000 calories without doing anything. And then with my training, I can eat even more. So I'm a pretty lucky guy. So Sarah Lynn, now that I've taken the test, we've seen the numbers. What should I do or when do I come back for another test? What's the protocol? I would want to see you in three months and I'd want you to keep track of your training plan and what you're eating over the next three months and then we have a baseline we can compare your next assessment to we can find out have you lost muscle mass are you eating enough has your body fat percentage gone up are you eating too many large pizzas and then from that we can tweak in the final months before your marathon we can tweak your training plan and tweak what you're eating to get you at specimen state before your race Cool. Well, that's the goal. Thank you very much.